My homies, so today I got a big fucking haul for you guys, right? And this is probably gonna be the last haul I do all this year. Don't call me on that though, right? Don't call me on that. But like, this is a oh, this is a big one, guys. This is a big one. Not coming out of you. This one's a big one, guys. But you know what? I am so excited to show you guys, right? Let's get to it. So you guys know I've been saying always make sure you get some accessories, right? So to me, this was like a no-brainer, right? And Rude, I don't have too many Rude pieces, right? So like, I was kind of just venturing off to different brands, right? No more heron, guys, come on. We gotta chill on the heron, right? Chill on the heron. So this one, it's a nice little hat. I fuck with the design, right? Like, just look at that shit. And it's got the little green undertone there as well. You guys see that? That's clean. I haven't worn this yet because I just copped the last piece for this haul today because I was waiting for everything to come all together so I could show you guys everything. I've been at some of these pieces for the last, like, week or two weeks, but I wanted to get everything all together in one so I can make it a juicy haul for you guys, right? So this is the first piece I'm gonna show you guys. It fits really nice. It's very structured, very tight, very clean. And I love how just really clean the brim is. Like you can really just see the print. Like it's very, it's very nice. I've got, a, I've got a decent fit plan in mind for this, but I do gotta say guys, unless it's something I can just obviously show you, I'm not finna wear these pieces, bro, and give you the B-roll footage, man. If you guys want that shit, take your ass to a different channel, my guy. Like, I cannot be fucked doing that shit. And to be honest as well, guys, the place I'm in right now, like, the lighting is horrible, man. So, like, it's kind of a pain for me to shoot that shit. Like, when I was in my other crib back in Adelaide, easy, right? I got decent lighting, I got a tripod, all that type of shit, right? But this one, a bit of a ghetto setup, I can't lie, my guys. So, I'm not gonna be showing you no B-roll. If you're mad, stay mad, my nigga, stay mad. But on to the next piece. Now you guys know your boy Ben loves his luxury. He loves his designer. He loves his nice things. So I caught myself another accessory, right? Accessories, I always want to, eventually, right? I want to do a hole where it's just accessories. Can you, can you imagine how crazy that'd be? A hole where it's just accessories, right? I'm gonna go crazy on that bitch, right? But I got myself some Bottegas, some Bottegas. These aren't really anything flashy though. I'm gonna show you what they look like. These are actually my prescription glasses, funny enough, guys. Because I was shopping on Essence, right? And I saw these bitches on there. I'm just like, damn, these are perfect. I don't know if you guys know what my other glasses used to look like, but they look so dorky and like Harry Potter looking like. And they look all right, but I think the frames or the lenses were too small. So it gave that Harry Potter vibe. But if they were bigger, it would have been all right. But this, this, these very square, like rectangular sort of shape. Look at these bitches. These so clean. They've got a little gold accent as well just like that but these are amazing so what i did right is i ordered these off vision direct so you can get like designer frames off them and then i just gave them my prescription so you order like a set of designer sunglasses or designer glasses whatever you want to do right so these were just normal these are normally just transparent glasses so i was just like why the fuck would i cop transparent glasses when i wear prescription glasses that's just that's bad cap right so i decided to get my prescription built into these right and then i went a little extra i got some you know blue light blocking and all that type of shit right just because i've been on the computers a lot but like yeah i love these and it's kind of just a low-key flex like my prescription glasses are bottega bitch like come on man like don't play with me don't play with me guys but yeah these are nice and i love the case they come in right like this nice little green rectangular type of shit right and also guys i don't know if i'm gonna show you this for every single piece i have maybe just for like the obvious pieces because i think you guys need to start putting some respect on my name because you niggas be thinking I'd be copping reps or some shit like, no, 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 nigga, no, nigga, no, 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 no. Certificate of authenticity. Please don't play with me. Please don't play with me. Everything I cop is real, my nigga. Don't play with me, okay? But yeah, because I'll be talking shit about reps. So can you imagine how embarrassing I'd be if I'd be copping reps? But nah, everything I'd be copping is, come on, guys, don't play with me. Come on. But like, yeah, these are very clean. I really fuck with these, right? And I think if you guys are looking for prescription glasses, make sure you get like clear frames. Like I think clear frames, this is like swaggy. This is like, this is in. This is like, come on, this is, they look good. They look really good. Like, okay, on to the next piece. Now this is the last accessory I got of the haul. And some of you guys might think this is a bit dummy because if you asked me this a year ago, I would have been, you're fucking retired of spending money on that, right? But <laughs> we just move differently nowadays, right? We just, we, we move differently nowadays. I got me some Gucci fucking socks, my nigga. Come on, man. And it's just one pair. I know. I literally spent all that money on one pair of socks, right? But, but, 
I have an amazing fit. Oh, and it was still in the bag because I haven't worn these yet, right? Some of these shit I haven't. Some of these shits I haven't worn yet, just because I'm waiting to. Because I'm going to Melbourne for the weekend, right? So I'm waiting till I go to Melbourne, and then I'm gonna put these bitches on. So, look at these, man. These are so clean, and the brownie, like green, like just as you know, standard Gucci Ophidia kind of print. Like this is so nice, man. Like look at these. Look, look, look at look at these. Look at these. Look at these. I've got a crazy fit in mind. And you know a guy is into his fashion when he be copying socks like this, right? Like, you can't tell me a nigga is copying socks like this and he's just he's just not different. Like, come on, these are so clean. I can't wait to put these on and style a crazy fit with them. It's a bit of a subtle thing, it's a bit of a subtle like accent piece, I guess. You know how I said, one of my videos actually said socks could be an accessory, so I wasn't lying about that. Uh, I wasn't lying, like, I, I, I do what I say, I can't lie. I do what I say, but yeah, I don't blame you guys if you think this is retarded. This is maybe a bit retarded, but maybe a little bit retarded. But like, come on, I'm a fashion nigga. Come on, that's what we do. We, we do retarded things. So on to the next piece. Now, a big focus of this haul for me was copying some more hoodies and like sweatshirts and like outerwear. Because I looked at my wardrobe and I always say this, guys. When you go shopping, examine the weaknesses of your wardrobe. Don't just be buying shit because you just saw it on special, you saw it on sale, or you saw a piece that you just really, really love. I mean, you can in the latter case, a piece you really, really love, but like, let's kind of be logical here. A lot of the times, you'll get so much more satisfaction in the long run from buying pieces you actually need because A, you actually end up wearing them a lot more, and B, you'll get your money's worth because you end up wearing them a lot more. If you buy a piece you can absolutely love, you can love the fuck out of a piece, right? But you wear it one time, it just gets old quickly. But if you have a piece that you're constantly going back to, constantly utilizing, putting together in different fits, different uses, you get so much more enjoyment out of that. So for me, getting jumpers and hoodies was a big part of this haul for me, right? So this first piece I copped here is a rude hoodie. A nice little rude hoodie. You can see the print over here. Just a nice cream little hoodie. Because before this, guys, in terms of my hoodie, hoodie collection, right? I got this, the Heron Preston hoodie. And then I have... Damn, I think that's all I actually had. Holy shit, I think that's all I actually had. I have this, the Heron Preston hoodie. And then I have some, you know, crew necks and like puffer jackets and shit. But in terms of like actual stepping out, like, you know, putting that shit on type of hoodies, all I have is this. So I was like, okay, we gotta make sure we get some hoodies this whole, right? So I got this, the rude hoodie. Very nice. I get all my shit off Essence and Satire, guys. So that's where I buy all my shit. But it's got like little palm trees on the side. It's not that thick, to be honest. Like, in terms of quality and material, this hair impression hoodie is a way thicker fabric. So very, like, higher thread count, I suppose. Way thicker. And this one sort of feels a bit mm, midway. It feels a bit midway. But the print's all right. Like, the rude, the print's all right. I'm sorry guys, don't give him the B-roll guys. I, as I'm doing this, I'm just like, I should probably give these niggas some B-roll, but like, I can't be fucked guys. You know, honestly, if you're watching these videos at this point, I don't think you're really watching them for me to be wearing the clothes, right? If you do want to see me wear the clothes, check out the Instagram. Come on, check out the Instagram guys. That's why I've been putting these fits on. Check out the Instagram. But if you, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I just make, I just make these videos to kind of like vlog and like talk my shit, I guess, you know? If you guys kind of like that at this point, but yeah, yeah, got the rude hoodie. Now, whew. You guys, this next piece I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the highlight of the hole. Let's just say that, the highlight of the hole. So let's get to it. Oh, you know your boy went crazy when the box is the size of my fucking body, my nigga. I'm six foot three. Look how big this fucking box is, my guys. Look at this shit. Look at this. Let me show you what's inside this. So we got the dusty, we got the dusty up here, right? Dude, it's so funny, I'm acting like I'm unboxing this, but I've already been open this and used this a few times already, but you know, gotta give you guys the experience. But, this is the biggest purchase of the whole haul, and rightfully so, because this is something, I won't say I've wanted for a long time, but it has crossed my mind multiple times for the last couple years. And I guess as I'm on this income I am now, and I'm very grateful and fortunate to be in this position, I just figured, why the fuck not? Why not Why not pull out with a Louis V duffel, bro? Why not, why not? This is hard, my guys. So this is the Louis V key pole with the bandolier or whatever. 
I haven't really used it in a sense where I've gone out with it, but I've, you know, unbox it and like walk around my house like all hyped and shit with it, right? So this is so fucking clean, my guys. This is the 50, the Keep All 50. So it's like the limited edition one with the reverse monogram print. You can see how it's like gray here and then like black and then gray again. And then on this side, it's got like this as well. Um, all I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm actually just keeping a pillow inside it to keep it like structured and shit. I just got like a pillow inside here to keep it structured and shit. But um, let me look for this one thing. Give me one second, guys. So here it is, guys. This is the certificate of um, authenticity. Let's have a look. It's so sad I even have to show this. Like a nigga can't just be, you know, wearing designer and shit without people thinking it's fake. And I blame all you rep niggas, man. You guys will be wearing reps and shit. So we got this. I got this from the Louis V store in Australia. So I just bought it online. If you go on Louis V, um, louisvuitton.com.au or whatever. Very good shopping experience, I can't lie. I mean, I guess when you're spending this much money, you would be hoping it is, right? But yep, yeah, got the little like tax invoice right here, my guys. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, yeah, my shit ain't foo-foo, my shit for real, my shit for real, but let me show you guys the bag. I just had to clear it up in case some fucking comment in there be like, oh, he gets reps. No, I don't. No, I do not. So yeah, guys, this is the Kipo Bandolier 50. So Bandolier because it comes with the shoulder strap. So I just took this out of the actual bag because I haven't actually set up everything yet. I'm going to use this bag this weekend when I fly out. So that was the main point of me buying the bag because my other carry-on bag I had before, right? I bought it back when I first started university when I was like 18. So like five years ago at this point. And that bag is so dusty, crumbling, like looking like, looking so ghetto, bro. And I remember when I was on a trip earlier this year, right? And I just was wearing that bag and I just really was so frustrated. I just looked at myself, I'm just like, dude, I'm at this point in my life where like, I'm making this kind of money and like I'm working this fucking hard. I'm like sacrificing. Why the fuck am I walking around with a ghetto ass bag? You know, like it really pissed me off. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It really pissed me off. So I just, you know, came back home and thought about that for a while. And then, um, yeah, I looked this up online and did some YouTube videos about the reviews and like what people thought about it. And, you know, they thought it was a good investment. And I mean, this ain't really a good investment. Like whoever tries to tell you this shit's an investment, like they're fucking retarded. This shit is just plain consumerism at its finest, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, yeah, this one's the 50. So the 50 just sort of means it's 50 meters across, sorry, 50 centimeters across here and here. Cause the keyboard was coming like 45, 50 and 55. And I'm actually a bit mad, my guys, cause I was gonna cop the 55 right but i kept watching these videos where people were saying and the one thing when you're looking for louis v and like shopping luxury designers most of the videos you watch are going to be chicks right because that's chicks are into this shit right so the one annoying thing is the chicks kept on saying ah yeah the 55 just it's a little too big guys and it, you know it gets really heavy when you pack it with shit no shit it gets heavy when you pack it with stuff like so fucking retarded right and they were just saying like yeah, the 55 is too, too big and even the 50 is a bit too big. I think the 45 is the best size, right? So I was like, oh my God, should I get the 45, not the 55 then? And then I went back and forth between the 45 and the 50. And I just decided, you know what? Let me take the risk and I get the 50. If it's too big, then it is what it is, right? I'll just use it for, you know, extra, extra carry on space. It'll be all fine. So I get the 50, it rocks up and I'm like, holy shit. Thank God I got the 50 because I won't lie, this shit is not that big. It's okay, I'm, I'm happy with it, it's okay. It's, it's a goodish size, a little of the smaller size if you're gonna use it as a carry-on. Like I probably can't fit everything in this, I probably have to use a second bag, which kind of sucks because I wanted to have one carry-on. But I'm just like, thank God I didn't listen to those skinny small bitches on the internet telling me that the 50 is huge. Like, this shit is tiny bro, I could have actually got the 55. But yeah, my guys, this is the Louis V, the Kipo bro. I'm gonna have a crazy fucking pick on Instagram with this, my guys. Get ready. You know I'm about to stun on these bitches on the gram, bro. Just get ready for it. And yeah, it comes with this little kipo, the, the bandolier, and then this little bag here. It comes with like a little um, padlock. It says like Louis V on there. Can you guys see that? It says like Louis V. It's like lock up your shit. But yeah, I'm just absolutely so happy about this purchase. This was a crazy, 
crazy purchase, my guys. But yeah, on to the next. Now, the next piece I got, guys, I'm gonna just show you both of them at once, to be honest. So let me grab the second piece. But yeah, the next thing I got, guys, a matching set. So I got the the Vetmans Gavasalia. I don't really know how to say it, but like, you guys know kind of the parody on like the Bernie Sanders campaign. So I got like the Gavasalia. I'm butchering that so bad. Like a zip up hoodie, if you can see this. And then I also got the matching shorts. So these are very, very tough, very hard. And I cannot stress to you guys, check out the Instagram. That's where the fit pics are gonna be. I'm not doing no B-roll footage of these bitches, right? I'm so sorry, guys. I just made these videos to talk shit. I'm not making these videos to show off or fucking show off the fits or whatever, right? That's what the gram is for, guys. I just made these videos to talk shit and just vlog with you guys. Next piece now. Now, next piece I copped is some gray sweats. So these are some gray misbehaved sweats. Nothing really too crazy about these. They're just standard gray sweats. The one thing I like about these is they don't have a cuff on the bottom. So you see this, they don't have like that little rubbery cuff you'd see in most people's sweats. These ones just flow and drape over the shoe, which is amazing, amazing. But onto the next piece. Now I'm trying to wrap up this video quick guys. So that's why I'm kind of just, you know, going through this shit hella fast. But the next piece I got is just some denim shorts. So just some shorts, you know, like the baggy shorts or whatever. But these bitches are off white, so check these out. Come on, these are hard, man. These are hard. These are tough. And they fit really nicely. They fit They fit really nicely, guys. They're just like a nice little, you know, little boxy fit, but not too ridiculously baggy like you see some people doing with their fits. Like, uh, some of these blow core fits, like, they go into like three quarter um, shorts at these points, and uh, that's just, that's just, nah, that's not it, that's not it. But yeah, these are off white. These are really clean. Fucking love these, I love these. Next piece. And finally guys, the last piece I'm gonna show you guys. And this one is probably, this is very lackluster, I can't lie, but this is just a Vetmont's, um, this is like the inside out shirt, the Vetmont's inside out shirt. So I don't know if you guys can really notice, I'll bring it up to the camera, but like you can see the stitching, where like the shirt, it literally looks like it's inside out. That's like the whole style of it. That's why I intended to get it, that's why I wanted to get it. But yeah. Uh, you can see this, it's like inside out. So when you actually wear it, it looks like you're wearing an inside out shirt, which I thought was pretty cool, but when it came out in person, I mean, when I got this in person just then, I literally looked at it, I'm just like, what the fuck? They literally just gave me an inside out shirt. Like, uh, like I, they literally just gave me an inside out shirt. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it'd be like a bit more unique, but they, they literally just gave me an inside out shirt. I'm just like, damn man, I fell for it. I fell for it hook, line, sinker. I fell for a hook line sinker, but you know what? It is what it is. My camera's about to die, guys, so I'm gonna uh, let you guys go, but I hope you enjoyed the whole. I'll see you guys. Oh, oh, one thing. I've got a video coming out soon, guys, so this is just like a little filler video. Don't mind this one. I just wanna make sure I get some content out consistently. So the next proper video is coming out soon. So I'll see you guys later.